Welcome, viewers. In today's episode, we'll discuss the landmark ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court. This decision has significant implications for property rights and the balance of power between individuals and the government. Let's dive right into the details. The U.S. Supreme Court recent unanimous decision in Taylor v. Hennepin County, Minnesota for AI has significant implications for property owners across the nation. This groundbreaking ruling establishes that property owners have the right to recover surplus funds resulting from tax sales. The court held that the government retention of such funds constitutes an unconstitutional taking of property without just compensation, as guaranteed by the Fifth Amendment. This video will explore the key aspects of the case, analyze the court's reasoning, and the decision, the broader implications of the decision on property rights and the balance be of power between individuals and the government. Taylor v. Hennepin County involves Geraldine Taylor, a resident property owner who faced the unfortunate circumstance of having her home sold by Hennepin County to settle a $15,000 tax bill. The property was eventually sold for $40,000, resulting in a surplus of $25,000. However, rather than returning her the surplus to Mrs. Taylor, the county decided to retain the funds. Mrs. Taylor brought the case before the court, arguing that the county's action violated her Fifth Amendment right by effectively taking her property without providing just compensation. In reaching its decision, the Supreme Court maliciously examined the issues of compensatable property interests. The court embarked on a comprehensive review of legal precedents, tracing back centuries to identify a long-standing common law recognition of property owners' rights to review surplus funds exceeding the amount necessary to settle an outstanding debt. The court noted that the majority of the states and the federal government requires the return of surplus funds to the taxpayer, underscoring the historical and widespread acceptance of this principle. Furthermore, the court decidedly rejected the county's contention that Mrs. Taylor did not possess a protective property interest. It emphasized that the state's definition of property cannot be used as a tool to evade constitutional protection. The court made it clear that the states cannot declaim traditional property interests to circumvent the taking clause, which obligates the government to provide just compensation when taking private property. The Supreme Court's ruling in Taylor v. Hennepin County carries a far-reaching implication for property owners and the delicate balance of power between individuals and the government. By affirming that the retaining funds from tax sales amounts to an unconstitutional taking, the court affirms the fundamental protection of property rights. Property owners can now rest assured that they have a legitimate claim to any surplus resulting from tax sales, boosting the principle that the government must provide just compensation when depriving individuals of their properties. This decision also serves as a powerful reminder that the government and titles must exercise their power judiciously in tax foreclosure proceedings. The court's ruling emphasizes the importance of fairness and proportionately prevents the government from confiscating more property than necessary. It establishes a precedent that the government's right to recover unpaid tax must operate within constitutional boundaries, ensuring that the fundamental right of the property owners are respected. Furthermore, the ruling has implications that extend beyond the realm of tax sales. It reinforces the taking clause as a crucial safeguard against government overreaching and signals the court unwavering commitment to upholding property rights. This decision sends a resounding message that individuals should not be deprived of their property without just compensation, irrespective of specific circumstances or legal interpretation involved. In conclusion, the U.S. Supreme Court anonymous decision with Taylor v. Hennepin County makes it a significant victory for property owners and the protect the property rights. By affirming the property owner can recover surplus funds resulting from tax sales is unconstitutional taking. The court reinforces the principle that individuals should be fairly compensated for the loss of their property. This ruling is not only strengthens the property rights, but it also underscores the crucial importance of constitutional safeguards against government overreach. It serves as a reminder of the Supreme Court's pivotal role in upholding the delicate balance of power between individuals and the government ensuring that property rights remain protected and respected throughout the United States. Tax sales are legal procedures conducted by the government and titles to recover unpaid taxes for property owners. These sales are intended to ensure that property taxes are paid in a timely manner. And they provide a mechanism for the government to collect the funds necessary for public services and infrastructure development. In this guide, we'll explore the concept of tax sales, how they work, and the implications for property owners. What are tax sales? Tax sales are auctions or public sales of property that have unpaid tax debt. 
These debts can rise from unpaid property taxes, special assessments, or tax-related obligations. The purpose of the tax sale is to enable the government to recover the unpaid taxes by selling the property to a new owner. Reasons for tax sales. Tax sales serve several purposes. A. Revenue collection. Tax sales allow government to collect outstanding tax debt from property owners who have failed to meet their timely payments. B. Encouraging compliance. A threat of tax sale encourages property owners to fulfill their tax obligation properly. C. Property transfer. Sales tax provides the opportunity for interested buyers to acquire properties at a potentially lower price. Tax sales process. The specific process of tax sales can vary between jurisdictions, but generally it involves the following steps. Delinquency. The property owner becomes delinquent on their sales tax, usually after a specific period of non-payment. Notice. The government sends notice to the delinquent property owner, informing them that the outstanding tax debt and the possibility of a tax sale. Auction or public sale. The government holds an auction or a public sale where the property is sold to the highest bidder. The proceeds from the sale are used to settle the outstanding tax debt. Redemption period. In some cases, property owners may have a period after the sale known as a redemption period to pay off the outstanding debt and regain ownership of the property. Surplus funds. In cases where the property is sold at a tax sale for the amount exceeding the outstanding tax debt, surplus funds are generated. Surplus funds are an excessive amount beyond what was required to settle the tax debt. Traditionally, these surplus funds were retained by the government. However, Recent legal developments, such as the Supreme Court ruling mentioned earlier, recognizes that property owners have the right to recover these surplus funds as unconstitutional taking. Implications for property owners? Loss of property. Property owners who fail to settle their tax debt may face the risk of losing their property through tax sales. Redemption period. Depending on the jurisdiction, property owners may have the opportunity to redeem their property during the redemption period by paying off the outstanding debt. Surplus funds recovered. The recent Supreme Court ruling established that property owners have the right to recover surplus funds resulting from the tax sale. This ruling strengthens property rights and emphasizes the need to just com compensate when the government takes property. Sales tax pays a crucial role in the revenue collection of property transfer. Understanding the tax sales process and its implication is essential for property owners to protect their interests. The recent Supreme Court ruling highlights the rights of the property owners to recover surplus funds from the tax sales, further strengthening the, the protection of the property rights. If you find yourself facing a tax sale, it is advisable to consult a legal professional familiar with tax laws in your jurisdiction to ensure your rights are being protected. Legal Insight Explained Thoroughly The recent ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court states that the property owner can recover surplus from the tax sales as unconstitutional taking, making it a significant development in the property rights jurisdiction. This ruling addresses the issue of whether the government retention of the surplus funds resulting from the tax sale con constitutes a violation of the Fifth Amendment taking clause, which prohibits the government from taking private property without just compensation. In order to understand the significance of this ruling, it's important to first comprehend the context in which the sales tax and the surplus arise. Sales tax occur when the property owner fails to pay their property taxes, resulting in a government auction off of the property to recover unpaid taxes. The sales process are intended to cover the outstanding tax debt, but in some cases, the property is sold for more than the amount owed, resulting in a surplus. Traditionally, the disposition of the surplus funds has been a matter of the state law. Some states allow property owners to claim the surplus and others grant it to the government or in titles. However, the recent Supreme Court ruling established that when a government retains the surplus without providing just compensation to the property owner, it can constitutes an unconstitutional taking of property. The court's reasoning behind the ruling rests in the interpretation of taking clause. The taking clause serves as a safeguard against the government's arbitrarily seizing of private property. It requires that when a government takes private property for public use, it must provide just compensation to the property owner. While tax sales serves a legitimate public purpose by ensuring the collection of unpaid taxes, the court found that the retaining surplus funds without compensating the property owner went beyond the government's authority and violated the Fifth Amendment. The court's decision was based on the thorough examination of the legal precedents and the historical recognition of property rights in common law. 
It emphasizes that the property owners have long been recognized as having the rights and receiving surplus funds exceeding the amount of the necessary to satisfy the outstanding debt. The court also considered the prevailing practices in other states and the federal level, where the return of surplus funds to the taxpayer is the norm. By aligning this decision with the historical and the widespread recognition, the court established a strong precedence for property owners to assess their rights to surplus funds resulting from tax sales. The implication of the ruling is significant for property owners across the country. It clarifies the property owners have a legit claim to surplus funds and strengthens the protection of the property rights. Property owners can now seek compensation for surplus funds that were previously retained by the government without their consent. This ruling reinforces the principle that the government must provide just compensation when it takes private property, even in the context of tax sales. Furthermore, this ruling underscored the role of the Supreme Court in safeguarding the constitutional right and maintaining the balance of power between individuals and the government. It serves as a reminder that constitutional protection, such as the taking clause, applies to all forms of government action, including tax sales. The court's decision reaffirms its commitment to upholding property rights and assuring that the property owners are treated fairly in this interaction with the government. In conclusion, the Supreme Court's ruling that property owners can recover the surplus from tax sales is unconstitutional taking has significant implications for property rights and the balance of power between individuals and the government by recognizing this property owner's rights to just compensation for surplus funds. The court strengthens the protection and property rights and reaffirms the importance of constitutional safeguards. This ruling provides clarity and a precedence for property owners to assess their rights and seek redis when the property is taken without fair compensation. Thank you for watching. We hope this discussion has provided you with a better understanding of the property rights and the implications of the Supreme Court ruling. Love it if you liked and shared this information with anyone who can benefit from it.